Um, one of the really cool things about OpenTX is that you can write scripts for it and some kind of person has written a really cool script uh, if you're a quad pilot. Um, so I thought I'd show it off in this video. Uh, what it does is it lets you um, view and edit your PID values uh, from beta flight um, on the radio itself. So there are a few things you need to have set up before you can get this script to work. Uh, firstly, this only works under OpenTX 2.2. Um, right now I've got release candidate 12 on this radio and it works perfectly fine. There were some issues with some older versions, uh, so always try and load the, the latest version. Um, you also need to be running Betaflight 3.1 or better. Uh, in theory this means it will also work with the newer versions of CleanFlight as those were copied from Betaflight but I've not actually tested it. Um, you also need to have telemetry working for your quad so um, you probably need to be running uh, free sky receiver even if you're running OpenTX on a different radio because I'm not aware that the others have got uh, telemetry although I could be wrong. Um, so I'll quickly just show what it works. I've got the, this, uh, this quad powered up um, and we'll just quickly go through what it does. So this is obviously the, the default screen. Uh, if you just hold down page it takes you to my second screen. My second screen I put my um, battery and RSSI on here uh, just so that I can check that they're fine um, before I take off and page again and you come to this page which says beta flight PIDs and it really is this simple you can just scroll through pick your PID I'll just pick my your PID and you can and drop your your PID down to say 65 it probably needs to be down a bit anyway and that's it that saved it to the quad um, from here you can also page across and get your rates so I've got RC rates and super rates and if you happen to have your um, video transmitter connected in um, you can also change the band and channel of your transmitter um, as far as I'm aware it only works with the tramp and the TBS Unify HV I think. Um, I think it works with the TBS Smart Audio so anything that that uses that. Um, I obviously don't have one set up on this quad so that's why it's not showing anything. But yeah that means you can um, just fiddle with your PIDs in the field and you don't need a computer. So the uh, the setup in the radio is actually quite simple. I'll take you through how to copy the files onto the SD card and where they go. There aren't that many files. Uh, you need to have Lua scripting enabled, but it's probably a good idea anyway. Um, once they're actually on your radio, uh, you just go into your uh, into your model, page all the way through to the end. It is the last page. This is where you have your screen set up. Now, my first, this is my first screen, so I've got this set to NUMS. So I've got my battery, the time, my RSSI, and my timer, just as you saw before. And this is the second screen. So all you have to do is select script. So there's lots of different options. And then the script you want is BF for beta flight. And it's as simple as that. If you have everything else working, then this will just suddenly start to work. Uh, there's no setup required on the quad other than getting telemetry set up um, and there's no additional setup in the radio other than loading the script on there and then selecting it. Um, so we'll switch over to the computer now and I'll take you through how to load the script onto your radio. Alright, so we're on the computer. Um, I've already gone ahead and loaded up the correct website I will add this link into uh, the video description below um, pretty much all you need to do is download the correct zip file for your radio so if you have a Horace download this one if you have a the originals for NS uh, this one and the X7 which is what I've got this one I actually have the original Tyrannus as well but I'm installing this on the X7 um, so I've already downloaded that that will give you this zip file which has a scripts directory in it which then has a bf directory with two scripts and a telemetry directory with one script. Uh, then you need to plug in 
well, you need to copy this to the SD card for your radio. So the easiest way to do that, as I don't have a card reader, is to use the radio itself. So to do that, all you need to do is uh, pull the uh, trim buttons at the bottom, the left and right trim, together into the middle and power it up. Uh, this will put the radio into bootloader mode. Um, and then you just connect it to any USB port on your computer. Uh, Windows will then detect it as two drives. Um, with, in my case, the first drive being this one, which is the contents of the SD card. So it's pretty simple from this point on. You just copy this entire scripts folder onto your SD card. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, but this will create a directory called BF in here and copy the two scripts in. Uh, these Lua C scripts are the compiled version of the script, so my radio actually will compile the script into something that runs. It just makes it run a little bit quicker. Uh, it's not a huge issue. You don't have to do that, but it it's nice. Um, it does mean that if I update the script, I have to remember to remove this, otherwise it won't recompile them. Um, and it copies the telemetry one into here, which again, already there. Um, and it's as simple as that. Once you've copied this over, uh, it then becomes an available script for your radio. Um, and you just select it as I showed before. So again, the um, prerequisites for this is you need to be running OpenTX 2.2, um, the latest release candidate. I think it even says in here, stay away from RC11 because it doesn't work, but that's okay because RC12 is already out and it works great. Um, so you need to be running 2.2. Um, you also need to be running Betaflight 3.1 at least on your radio. 3.1.6 is currently the latest and that works pretty much flawlessly so there's almost no reason why you wouldn't be running that. Um, and you need to have telemetry working so you need to tick the telemetry box in Betaflight and you need to actually have connected the telemetry port in correctly from your flight controller to your uh, receiver and it needs to be sending data back so the, the best example of that would be voltage if it can send the battery voltage back then your telemetry is working um, from that you just uh, yeah add the script in it'll detect everything it needs to detect and just work there really was no other setup than that and it's possibly the best script that I've ever seen <laughs> uh, so yeah thanks very much to the um, the, the beta flight guys and uh, thanks very much to the the guy that wrote this script um, if you like this video just hit the thumbs up um, if you'd like to see more random videos about random things I happen to come across on the internet uh, specifically to do with quads then you could subscribe if you want um, if you've got any ideas of anything you'd like me to show off um, I'm always happy to, to give it a go so just mention that in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks very much.